HBO's hit TV show Secession has a number of really great economic lessons. We're going to watch a very short clip with Cousin Greg and Tom discussing goods. And this is a great opportunity to think about income elasticities and how income affects the demand for particular goods. Let's watch the clip. Well, cool. I actually, uh, I finally got paid. <laughs> Atta boy. Yeah. Okay. It's like they're not paying the light bill here, but, um, but I actually got paid and uh, I was thinking about maybe going to, um, uh, have you ever visited the uh, California Pizza Kitchen? <laughs> No, dear Lord, no. It's pretty delicious, Tom. No, no, it isn't, Greg. I mean, you might think it tastes delicious, but... They make a Cajun it. chicken linguine just how I like but it. But that's not how you're supposed to like it. Okay. Should I get some beers? No, 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 let me use it. Bottle service. I ordered vodka. Come on. Whoa. Go ahead, man. Hey. Yeah. So this is what you do, you like come to a club and then you come to like this other part where the club sort of is it? Yeah, that's it. Two, this is 2,000 bu bucks a pop. Why? No reason, we're being totally ripped off. Is this gold, is this gold leaf? Uh-huh, drink the gold, my friend. Okay, fascinating little clip that has a number of economic lessons in there. First, let's think about income elasticities. So an income elasticity, it is the, it measures the responsiveness of demand for a product or service based on how income changes. And there's various categories for uh, income elasticities. The two broad ones are a normal good or an inferior good. A normal good, as incomes go up, you buy more of the good. An inferior good, as incomes go up, you buy less of the good. Or as incomes drop, you buy more of that good. Within normal goods, there's a couple categories. There are luxuries, where as you make more, you actually spend disproportionately more than that on the products. And these will often be things that are thought of as luxuries. And then there are necessary goods. These are things that are really needed. You make more money, you buy more of that. So, um, you know, square footage in a place where you live. If your income doubles, you probably are going to get a little bit of a bigger place. You might not buy double the number of square feet in whatever place you're living, for example. Well, in this clip, uh, it, it's fascinating. Cousin Greg gets his first paycheck. Clearly, right, California Pizza Kitchen to Cousin Greg is a clearly a normal good and probably even a luxury, right? The first paycheck comes in and he went from spending nothing, or very, very little at California Pizza Kitchen to going and enjoying this fantastic meal in his eyes. And then we see Tom's reaction to that, which was like, goodness, no, I'm not going to go to California Pizza Kitchen. Because Tom earns so much that he views this as an inferior good. Tom's income has gone up to the point where he, he, he's not going to go there at all, right? As his income goes up, his demand for California Pizza Kitchen drops down to zero. So it's interesting, within the two different people, we see two different income elasticities. We see, um, for Cousin Greg, California Pizza Kitchen is a luxury good, but for Tom, it's an inferior good. And then later, Tom talks about going out to a fancier place, and we see them going to a club where they get $2,000 uh, a bottle bottle service for vodka, where they're drinking like gold leaf vodka. Once again, clearly a luxury. Most people would spend zero on this. Once incomes hit a certain point, you might spend a disproportionately higher percentage of income on this very much luxury item. Income elasticities shows the percentage change in demand for a product based on percentage change in income. And we see inferior goods, normal goods, and within normal luxury and necessary goods, we see a wide category of the goods right in this one minute clip from Secession. My name is Matt Rosu. I like to make videos explaining economics, often using pop culture. Do me a favor and please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of the content. I try to put out content regularly, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.